Alright, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Rome. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your general love reading. So we're going to find out what's going on with you and the person on your mind. Hey, before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that I only have a couple spots left for the 40% off promotion. The spots are filling up fast, so if you are interested in booking, definitely uh, check out the link that is going to be in the comment section. Okay, what does this person want to say to you? You can have anyone. Why do you want me? Okay. I was just gonna say we're dealing with a bit of an insecure person. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. So, notice too, so these cards, actually all of the fonts are different, like purple, black, red, blue, orange. You guys pulled two cards that have blue font and blue can indicate throat chakra. So this person may have a hard time communicating themselves to you because they feel very insecure around you. This person is very self-conscious of themselves because they feel like, Oh my gosh, I mean, look at you. Look how great you are. You could have anyone. Why do you want me? So they're really seeing themselves in this kind of um, less deserving manner. Let's see. Why am I hearing like a beeping noise? Weird. Okay. I think it's in the hallway or something. All right. Let's see. How does this person feel? The answer is no. We have metamorphosis. Oh, okay. Interesting. I feel like this person is kind of closing themselves off to you. It could be that they're just like, no, I don't want to feel insecure around this person, so I am just going to release this connection. Maybe this person let you go because they didn't feel worthy of you. They may feel like they know they need to work on themselves more in order to be ready for this type of connection. Let's see, how does this person feel? How does this person feel? Yeah, for a lot of you guys, this person may have actually kind of rejected you. They're longing for you. Yearning, wistful, homesick. Okay, how does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you? Depressed, mood in reverse, Pisces energy. I think this person let you go, not because they wanted to, because they, but because they felt insecure. And now they're longing for you, they want you, they're depressed over this decision that they've made. Now their intuition is kicking in. Why is the High Priestess here? Ooh, their intuition is like, listen, you know you have feelings for this person. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could be definitely a water sign. We're getting strong Pisces here. Um, very intuitive. I feel like this person's very intuitive. You could be very intuitive as well, but they're also very intuitive. And their intuition is screaming. Their intuition is like, you know you have feelings for this person. You cannot deny this. And they're like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to let this person go because they're going to find someone better at some point. So let me just release them now. They're really depressed over this decision that they've made because they're really wanting you. Yearning, homesick. How do they see you right now? How does this person see you? Justice reverse, we have Libra. The King of Wands in reverse. They feel like you kind of play games at times. They feel like you may like control. I don't know in what way, but they feel like you kind of play games a little bit. You're, you have a bit of a controlling type of tendency. They feel like there's something about you that's a little bit unfair, like you like to be in control or have control over. They've noticed some sort of controlling and like energy about you. Now keep in mind, controlling doesn't have to be like overt. It could be covertly controlling. Okay. So the, as it stands, I feel like this person has kind of let you go. This is why, if you're wondering why this person kind of shut you out. So what is it that they want? Do they want anything with you or no? Do they want anything with you? They do want to come back around. This person is missing you. Five of Pentacles reverse is like, it is the longing card really. It's longing for someone wanting to come back around because you're missing them. They do want to come back around. Maybe they regret this decision. 
but they want to come back around 100%. Five of Pentacles Hermit, both in reverse, is like, okay, I'm done with my little time that I've taken to myself. I want to come back around to this person. But they still feel insecure. They know that there's some sort of growing that they need to do. What's their message? Wow. I'm attracted to you spiritually, physically, and emotionally. I pretend things are going well when they're really not. So this person is like, again, they're very, this person's very interested in you. Like this person is very much attracted to you on all levels. It's not just physical for them. They feel like you guys have some sort of a spiritual connection. Again, you guys could both be very intuitive people, okay? They also feel like there's an emotional connection as well. Um, I'm almost getting that this person could be a little bit overwhelmed with this. Let's clarify this message. Hierophant in reverse. Taurus? Why is the Hierophant reversed? Hmm. This person's going to have some hard, like they're going to have a hard time committing to you. Not because they don't want you, but because they don't love themselves very much. This person struggles with self-love, so they, they're they very attracted to you, but they're gonna, this is going to be someone that's going to be very difficult to get them to commit in any way. Let's see. I pretend things are going well when they're really not. Seven of Cups reversed. Oh, yeah, they're all about the show. This person has definitely put a lot of effort into giving off the impression that things are great, that they're confident. They very much are concerned about how people perceive them. They want to, they want to make everyone think that things are going well. They want to make it seem like they made the right decision with you and they're fine, but this is not the case, okay? This person wants to come back around to you. The problem is it's going to be like pulling teeth to get this person to commit, and it's not because they're not interested. It's because they don't love themselves. So what does spirit have to say about this connection? Free will. Shadow work. I feel like this is really up to you. You know, um, spirit is acknowledging your free will in this situation. Also acknowledging this person's free will. I'm seeing here that this connection, in order for it to work, would require some sort of shadow work. Looking at what is this activating within you? What is this activating within them? It's probably very similar. Like if this person has something that's kind of blocking them from coming towards you, you may have a similar um, energy blockage as well. Let's actually take a look and see why is shadow work here. The tower. Yeah, there's some sort of internal triggers in the page of swords in reverse that need to be looked at. Ten of wands, overwhelmed. I'm also getting that you and this person could be very easily triggered with each other in this connection. You guys really have to look within as to like, why is this triggering me? Why? So if when they do something, you have to ask yourself, why is this triggering me so much? And they have to ask themselves like, when you do something, why does that bother me so much? Do you guys both have to do this introspective work? Because I almost feel like if you blame the other person for their actions, it's going to create distance. And maybe that's already happened between the two of you because I feel like there is distance. This person does want to come back around though. Let's see what their most likely action is towards you. What is their most likely action towards you? Oh, they're going to come back around. Ace of Wands. They've been stressing about this. I see a passionate new beginning for you and this person. I feel like they cannot resist this connection. All I'm saying is that just be aware that there's shadow work that is needed in order for this connection to progress properly. But they are going to come back around because this person is very attracted to you. They can't stop this. Like, it's almost like their attraction is like, no, I have to come back to this person. Okay? So, I hope that resonated and can give you some insight on your situation. If you want to book your own personal reading, I do have a $20 off promotion. I'll leave it in the comment section. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journey. Take care.